Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Jay's Game Room. I'm Jay, and we're continuing our playthrough of Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we have had a couple technical difficulties in the background, uh, but we want to make sure we get this right. So uh, here we are uh, going through this again. We, we went back to where we were at the end of the, the last episode. Uh, and, and we're going to give this another shot. We've tweaked some microphone levels. We've tweaked uh, some settings. We had some unfortunate issues with uh, the capture software not saving things out correctly. So it's just been a slew of things. But uh, I want to try to get this right for everyone. I'm, I'm still new to this whole uh, live streaming scene. So I want to make sure that I'm providing uh, the best content that I can. What? So thank you for uh, coming and hanging out oh. with me. The game room is uh, a lot friendlier with everyone in it. Ah, Tiki. I'm kind of leading the way here, so... Uh, we are in what appears to be a pocket, kind of parallel or alternate dimension of some sort. And of course we ran in here completely unarmed with no way to reasonably defend ourselves. Um, well, we're going to try to do what we can because Tsubasa is our friend and that's what friends do. No question, we're just going to leap into action. That's the kind of man Itsuki Aoi is. And of course, we have the best cell phone service in the world uh, that it not only works in Tokyo, but here in an alternate dimension as well. If only we could get such good cell phone service uh, throughout the United States. So, uh, Toma apparently knows about this place and isn't happy that we're in it. Rather, kind of freaked out. Uh, but yeah, that's interesting that he would know what's going on. <laughs> Alright, so we obviously have some urgency here. I don't know what we're going to do when we find her. Oh, somebody's somebody's whispering. Yokos. Yokos. We're coming. We're trying to get there. No idea what we're gonna do when we get there, but we are trying our hardest to get there. Oh, oh, that was uh, one of the other girls at the uh, audition, the uh, idol audition. <laughs> so they are possessing and merging with people. Well, we got away, uh, probably sprained our ankle jumping down from there, but uh, that slight drop seemed to stop that uh, apparition of sorts. So, dangerous presence beyond, which is always something you want to sense when you're about to go into someplace dangerous without any way to defend yourself. So, let's see. Oh, oh Subasa! Subasa's behind that door. Huh? 
Well, we caught up with her, but uh, what are we going to... Oh, and we got this guy. We got this guy. We've made it to the Triforce room. We get as we get one ups. Well, this isn't looking good. Well, something's going on, and Rasengan. The unexpected Naruto Shippuden crossover. Not quite the menacing figure we were led to believe. <laughs> and not in control of himself, it would seem. Well, now he seems like he wants to help, so maybe we, uh, we snapped him out of it. Asubasa does not seem to be having as much luck, though. Oh, looks like she's got that same energy. Which we, we kind of saw a little bit before at that uh, opera when she was younger. You know what to do. <laughs> and another Rasen gun. That kind of snapped her out of it, too. It's kind of like, uh, what was it, like fire, like the torches in uh, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, and the, uh, what was it, the black sleep of the Kali. Yeah, just burn them. That'll wake them up. That'll bring them back to their senses. Good movie. Probably my favorite Indiana Jones movie, actually. Now we've got a way of defending ourselves, it looks like. seem a little bit more fair. どうすれば信じられ。うわ。剣が滑った。その声もしかしてさっきの青いお化けみたいな人。ああ。気づいたら剣になっていた。嘘だろ。気をつけて。<笑> 
Yeah, they seem a lot more reluctant to mess with us now. Alright, and here we go. First battle. Alright, so this game is all about uh, knowing what the enemies are vulnerable to and capitalizing on those vulnerabilities. You also are going to be uh, trying to optimize your attacks uh, for what's known as a session, and, and I'm sure the game will go into that too. Uh, but the sessions are kind of like combo attacks that uh, you know are based on abilities that you've learned and um, what attacks you're using and who you've got in your party. Uh, but basically, it, it combos up uh, you know, multiple attacks that, that do a little bit more damage than just a default uh, attack. Uh, so you can really wreck some havoc uh, in the round that you're attacking. Now, uh, later in the game, enemies can do this too. So uh, it's really important to make sure that you're you know, strategizing and thinking in advance of, of what you're going to do. It's not like, uh, you know, say Dragon Quest where you're, you're going to go in and, and you can adjust your strategy. You, you kind of want to think it through uh, before you do it. So we're going to take the troll out first. Since he's our big guy. It looks like he's weak against lands. see about sword. Yep, weak against sword too. So we don't have anything for a session attack yet, but uh, we at least know that he's weak to our standard weapons. Uh, so that's going to help us a little bit. All right. Uh, let's, let's keep... Let's take the big guy out as quickly as we can. There we go. Try to conserve our, our special attack points. Our EP. Right, so now we got blobs that are like... Uh, so, okay, we're... We're doing all right. Uh, looks like it, blobs are vulnerable to the sword, but not so vulnerable to... Uh, Subasa's lands. That's hard. It still does some damage. There we go. It's easy to make up. Alright. Uh, and that's also a play record. So, those, again, those are kind of like the achievements in this game. But Awesome. So we've leveled up. And pitiful, pitiful stat stat bonuses there. It, it's a lot like uh, the Fire Emblem games where, uh, you know, obviously if you get the Fire Emblem fanfare, a little better for Tsubasa, but uh, it's it's kind of random on what stats you're going to get increased and by how much. So uh, sometimes that can be really good and work really well in your favor. And uh, other times that can be... Uh, you know, just one stat that gets like a plus one increase, which is just awful. Unfortunate. But it's the luck of the draw. You know, that's, that's part of the random nature of it. So these two seem to have had uh, rationality seat back in. And, uh, oh, so it's Krom. So it looks like they're helping us out now. And we can combine with them uh, just the way that the other mirages were forcibly combining with other people. Um, except we seem to have more of a, a mutual uh, you know, symbiotic relationship. そして、よろしく、黒目。私はシーダ。Yep, and then uh, Sita, who was a uh, Pegasus Knight, I think from the original Fire Emblem from Shadow Dragon. Which I need to get. Uh, I think I've got the Virtual Console release on the Wii U, but uh, I, I need more Fire Emblem uh, in my life. I, I've got the, uh, the um, what is it, the Seasons of Warfare edition for the new one that just came out. But uh, I still need like Shadow Dragon and... I was an idiot and sold uh, Radiant Dawn on the Wii uh, to GameStop. I, I was stupid then. I uh, wasn't quite as back to being a hardcore collector 
Um, nor did I realize how rare it was. I was, I was stupid. No, there's no way around it. Uh, and then Path of Radiance I never played. Uh, I would really, really love either a remake or uh, an HD port of Path of Radiance and uh, Radiant Dawn, which are, if I understand correctly, two, two halves of the same story. We'll see. Fire Emblem's doing pretty well for Nintendo. And you should buy this game, too. I'm, I'm just saying, this game's great. どうしよう、All right, so we've made some new friends, uh, and now we, we looks like we may have a method of getting out of here. We've got Subasa with us, uh, and she can also protect herself, uh, so that helps. Uh, making the most of the map. The mini-map in the bottom left of the screen will show you surroundings as you move around. Also, if you open the topic screen with the plus button, then use the L or R shoulder buttons uh, to select map. You can check the full-size map, which shows everywhere you've been to so far. Uh, using the mini-map and the full-size map will raise your chances of surviving any perilous dungeon. And uh, in this game, we want to take any opportunity we can uh, to make sure we're, we're protecting ourselves in these dungeons. So uh, now we are out uh, on the other side of that room. Oh, looks like krom has got something to say. Oh, there's another mirage. All right, so enemy symbols and sword attacks. Uh, the symbol you see before you represents the presence of an enemy mirage. Uh, when you come into contact with this symbol, a battle will begin. You can perform a sword attack with X on these symbols to knock down enemies and avoid combat. In addition, when you come into contact with a downed enemy symbol, you may be able to take the first action in battle. In these situations, it is highly recommended that you rely on your sword attack. Uh, again, that gives us just more advantages uh, to kind of get the upper hand. And that's important in this game. You want to maximize your upper hand. So uh, we've got a dark mage and another blob. So let's use Zio. So we there we go. And then you focus on the dark mage. There we go. Nice critical hit. Uh, and that'll do it for the blob. Oh, yeah. That's, that's going to sting a little bit. Alright, Itsuki. Uh, whoop, not, not Zio. Use your regular attack. Let's wrap this up. Good job. And that's going to give us the play record... Uh, for Itsuki finishing a battle. All right, so we got some new skills. Um, in this game, uh, you get different weapons, and different weapons have different skills that you can learn uh, as you level up while uh, the Mirage that you're linked with is holding that weapon. So, um, as Krom is explaining right now, uh, we, you, okay, here, here, let's read this. Uh, skill Inheritance, your weapon, or Carnage, has reached a certain mastery level. You will gain mastery each time you act in combat, and when you have enough, you can learn a new skill. Try checking the new skills that you just learned. So we just learned Cleave, which is a light attack using the sword. So we're gonna go ahead and mm -hmm. equip that, because that's all good. And Sita, with the Iron Feather weapon, just learned the Electric Lunge. So uh, this is part of those session attacks uh, which will now, if another character uses an electric attack, uh, it's going to trigger a session attack with Subasa, where she's going to use lunge. Uh, again, session attacks are, are really important in this game. Do we have anything? Uh, let's go get that treasure chest. We like goodies. Give me the goodies. All right, so we got two medicine, uh, which is good. We need a way to, to kind of heal ourselves. 
Okay, yeah, Krom just making sure that you know we don't get ourselves killed here. Oh, there's a couple mirages. Let's go for this one. There we go. Get some, get some XP going. We want to get some some skills and some levels. So we got a dark mage and two blobs. So we know that he's weak against that. So okay, here's here's the detail on session. So when an enemy's weakness is attacked with a skill, again, it, remember it needs to be something they're weak against. Uh, an ally who possesses a session skill corresponding to that skill will perform a follow-up attack. This is called a session. The attacks that make up a session inflict more damage than a single normal attack, so it is crucial that you target an enemy's weakness and connect several sessions together often. Uh, the new session skill, Electric Lunge, triggers off an electric affinity skill. In this case, it can perform a session with Itsuki's Zeo. Try attacking an enemy's weakness with Itsuki's Zeo. So, again, it, the game's trying to teach you... you know, these normally, it, it took about two rounds to take out, but if we use Zeo, attack the weakness, and there goes Tsubasa with the session attack. So, uh, that was essentially like a free attack for Tsubasa. Alright, so let's stay on that Dark Mage. And, uh, let's take out that other Oh, nice dodge. Nice dodge. Alright, we got some goodies and a new skill and some level ups, so. Itsuki and Tsubasa both hitting level 3. And another skill from Sita. This is Skewer. So now uh, Tsubasa has this light uh, lance attack. Is it a lance or is it a spear? I'm so used to Fire Emblem and the weapon triangle. I'm, I'm just going to call it a lance. Thought I was gonna see. This. No, I'm good. I'm good. And we got some goodies. We got some survival uh, beads. Oh, there he is. A low time is nice on the switch. Oh, well, no, wrong enemy. Ah, I'm gonna pay for that. Ah. All right, so let's let's heal. <coughs> Since she has the ability to heal, and uh, let's take one of these out. That's what I get for hitting the button, haste, being hasty, and just hitting the button. That's all right. Though. We can recover. We can recover. So. Uh, let's use Dia on Itsuki, get him back up. There we go. Okay. And now let's take out that other blob, then we just have the Dark Mage. Right, so... Let's use Skewer. There we go. All right, we got we got control of it. We got control back, and we got a new uh, skill for Krom from uh, Falchan. We got a lance slash for a session skill. So now, uh, using skewer that we just learned with Subasa, uh, that'll get a session attack going. So good. we're getting we're getting stronger, building up our our session abilities. Okay, so this is a wall that. Uh, we aren't going to be able to go through yet. I think we could be wrong. I think we can go back to the dungeons later and, and like find other things. I think we need something to be able to do that. Oh, our phones are still miraculously working. You 
again, he's he's been in here before. He knows that there's a round building ahead of us, so I have to have a conversation with Toma after all of this. Uh, more mirages? You want some more? All right. How can I get us that easily? Okay, so Cleave seems to work against uh, the Dark Mages, so let's use Cleave. Alright, so let's skewer the other one since we'll, we'll get a session attack out of it now. There we go. Okay, so then the, the last one. You know what? Save our energy a little bit. There we go. Alright, so that's another skill for Sina. Uh, sword Lunge. So now an electric attack will kick off a session for Subasa, but now also a sword attack. Uh, so that gives us some really good flexibility now. それは、パフォーマーだ。おそらく人間たちから奪ったものだ。パフォーマー。あなたたち人間のみが持つ内なる力。そして私たちのような存在の糧となるものよ。オーディションの司会者、このパフォーマーを狙って人をさらっていたの
then I think we can lunge on the Dark Mage and take care of him. But not before he gives us a, a whack with some eyes. Yeah. That'll do. Good job. Ah, uh, getting there, getting there. Maybe one or two more fights. Plenty of mirages. Hello. And more treasure chests, too. Alright, so... Alright, we got a good good mix here. Let's, uh... Go for that dark mage. Oh! Ow. Burn my face, man. Let's take your Casper out. Uh, we're starting to get in the danger territory. Um, oh, and I am out of the EP. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the opportunity to heal her. But better safe than sorry. I don't want to have to restart. Okay, so can we move? Uh, not weak against it, but maybe, maybe we can do some damage. And we did. Alright, so there's some new skills. So, with Krom, we're going to learn Strength Boost, which increases our strength by two. And, uh... That is it for the Falchion. So that is a full skill inheritance. That means we've learned everything we can from this weapon. So, uh, that's going to be it until we find another weapon. And then Subasa is learning uh, Tarukaja, which raises the party's offense for three rounds. So also helpful. Yes, that'd be lovely. Thank you. And that's it for the Iron Feather skill inheritance. So uh, that's everything we're going to be able to learn from that weapon. So we're more or less in pretty good shape. So two first aid kits. Alright, so a Casper and a Dark Mage. So that's not, not too bad. I don't have Zeo. You have to do this the old fashioned way. A not so friendly ghost. But. Subasa, however, does have some EP, and we're gonna make short work of that dark mage. Alright, let's see if we can this up. I don't know what Skewer is gonna do. Oh, 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 around him. Alright, so these green orbs in dungeons will heal the party and replenish uh, the EP. Ooh. You know what? I'm actually going to go around him. And. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! Hell no! He was like, where are you going? That's all right. We can make pretty quick work of these guys. All right, let's skewer and then, then we got All right, so we've got a door 
Uh, but before we go through that door, let's save our game. Make sure we're in good shape and ready to go. Probably won't show uh, saving on the streams unless I have to anymore. But anyway, that's a good place to stop. Uh, thank you for coming and hanging out in the game room today as we play Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE Encore for the Nintendo Switch. It's been great having you. I'm Jay, and we will see you next time.